Hello, welcome to The Daily Office, and thanks for joining me. Today is Friday, July 29th, and today we remember Mary and Martha. Here is their com the commentary from the book Holy Women, Holy Men, Celebrating the Saints. Mary, Martha, and Lazarus of Bethany are described in the Gospels according to Luke and John as close and much-loved friends of Jesus. Luke records the well-known story of their hospitality, which made Martha a symbol of the active life and Mary of the contemplative, though some commentators would take the words of Jesus to be a defense of that which Mary does best and a commendation of Martha for what she does best, neither vocation giving grounds for de despising the other. Jesus raised Lazarus from the dead, which, in John's Gospel, is a powerful anticipation of resurrection and a sign of eternal life for those who claim by faith the resurrection of Jesus. The story of the raising of Lazarus also sheds additional light on Mary, on Martha, I mean. Jesus delays his visit to their home and arrives only after Lazarus is dead. Martha comes out to meet Jesus on the road, and while somewhat terse at first, she is still confident of his power to heal and restore. The exchange between them evokes Martha's deep faith and acknowledgement of Jesus as the Messiah. John also records the supper at Bethany, at which Mary anointed Jesus' feet with fragrant ointment and wiped them with her hair. This tender gesture of love evoked criticism from the disciples. Jesus interpreted the gift as a preparation for his death and burial. The devotion and friendship of Mary, Martha, and Lazarus have been an example of fidelity and service to the Lord. Their hospitality and kindness and Jesus' enjoyment of their company shows us the beauty of human friendship and love at its best. And the raising of Lazarus by Jesus is a sign of hope and a promise for all who are in Christ. Let us pray. Generous God, whose Son Jesus Christ enjoyed the friendship and the hospitality of Mary, Martha, and Lazarus of Bethany, open our hearts to love you, our ears to hear you, and our hands to welcome and serve you in others. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.